back for another week. Uh, if you have been tuning tuning in with us lately, you'll know that it's vacation season right now for Cassie and I. Sure so um, our conversations are kind of heavy around that a little bit. So if you've been needing a vacation, definitely continue tuning in so we can continue to talk to you about our good times. I know Cassie's turn is next. Um so I'm excited to hear about your trip. I'll definitely share a little bit about mine and it's not anything super exciting, but you know, I can definitely share this much needed trip that I got to go on. Yes, you need to, because we haven't really had a time to like talk about it yet. So I'm Mm-mm. interested to hear how it went and also yes. how you've been feeling because, you know, nothing ever goes to plan. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said that right. So um, pretty much. I had like a sinus infection the entire time for our trip. Yeah. And I think it's been creeping up on me because like the nasal passage has been feeling different and stuff like that Mm -hmm. for probably about a week and a half or a week before actually going on the trip. Didn't really think much of it, but it's just like, "Eh, okay. So yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Like it was just like hard to breathe at times. It wasn't anything crazy, but it was just so annoying and at like the absolute worst time possible where it's like, I finally have time to myself. I'm finally on a trip. I don't have to care about no one but me and my man because the baby's not with us right now. So, you know, that's just like one less thing. And it's just really, I don't have to like care for my man like that, you know, like taking care of him. But, you know, so it was just, it was so exciting to feel like I had more time to myself and just could focus on myself a little more. Mm -hmm. And I was sick. So I'm just worrying about getting through whatever this this thing is. So I was just pounding fruit juice and, you know, just outside as much as possible. But we still kind of had a few errands to run while we were down there because we did go for a wedding. But yeah. um, we had a few other things to attend to down there. So it was just like, oh, gosh, like, the f- you know, what the hell? Yeah, actually relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it kind of sucked. But that did not hinder my trip in any way though so um we the first day we got there because so we went to a west indian wedding so for those who are not very familiar with the culture i can say myself i'm not very (laughs) familiar with the west indian culture i would love to be uh part of my family is from the islands but not the west indies so you know it's just it was really exciting for me to be able to have a brand new experience where it's not just you know like a Catholic American wedding or just the standard kind of um, traditional American wedding, you know? So it was, I knew it was going to be something different. The wedding was three days. So that alone just says like, right. Like this is like, (laughs) this is going to be lit. Right. Yeah. I was (laughs) like three days. What the hell? That's a lot of outfits. A lot of like. Ugh. Right, because we remember we talked about my dress struggles, mm-hmm. and you know the dress I didn't really like ended up looking better on me than I thought. Still don't care for it, but it looks better than. Oh well, good. I you know when, when you're all like you know, fully dressed. And exactly, yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, we didn't go the first day, but we because you know obviously you RSVP in advance, and mm-hmm. we didn't really know the situation with the baby and all that, and kids were only allowed to go to certain parts. So we were like, yeah, no, we'll just do the last two days and call it that so um the first day we went was like the like ceremony and it was very beautiful Mm -hmm. it was at some center so they had like a stage set up with just all this red and gold which hello my (laughs) colors okay (laughs) so that was really exciting but it was just like their I don't know the proper terminology if it was their priest Mm -hmm. or justice of the peace whatever that person was you know gotcha he pretty much narrated um as they were doing things because he's like, you know, this is how we would do things back home in our country, Mm -hmm. but this is how we're going to do it here. So he's like, the stage represented like the bride's home and how they would do things back home. So it was pretty cool because it was kind of like a performance or like a play, but it was actually their ceremonial process. So it's like, you're watching it all unfold. And it was just, it was just really fulfilling because there was just so much culture behind it yeah and right now in my life I feel like I don't have like 
a lot of tradition or culture like that around me. And then, you know, when you lose like the matriarch or patriarch of the family, those that really hold things together, those traditions just go out the window if no one else holds it down. Mm -hmm. So, and even so, we didn't have traditions strong like that. So, you know, being able to sit there and watch it was just like, damn, you know, this shit's kind of dope. But at the same time, I was like, damn, this shit's a lot, (laughs) you know, because everything you have to go through to get to all of that. Um, but no, it was a really good time. The food is banging. You know, we were literally there for the first day for like five hours. That seems pretty normal though. Like, no, Cassie, it was just the ceremony. There was no reception. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that, there was no the reception. Actual, like marriage part, right? Because. Right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I don't know. If I could just yeah, sit there. Five and, like, watch all hours. Them. I now, went to a Catholic were you, wedding. How you mentioned. I thought that was long. Well, yeah, those are always long. Like, one of my girlfriends <laughs> got married, and I felt like that shit was forever. Um, are we there yet? <laughs> but when you mentioned that, like, this was, like, a performance, like, on a stage, like, were you, like, sitting in, like, auditorium type of seats? Or were these actually, like, set up, like, wedding seats? Like, individual? No, it was like... set up, like, wedding seats. It was okay. at some, um, I call, it's, I can't think of what the center was, but it's, like, a center where they host events. So, it, but there was a stage in the room. Like, it makes me think of, like, a convention center. Okay. Like, when, pe- like, business people go to their meetings, and they have the stage, and but they have all the tables out on the floor. Right, right. Um, Like, wedding seats. Seating. so okay. yeah it was just like that it was still a wedding setup um beautiful centerpieces like oh my everything and there was just beautiful Gosh. like beautiful I could not imagine how much time <laughs> and sure. money yeah. has gone into all of that because it a was a lot of like, money goes into one day shit right right and they have three days worth of stuff so wow. um they probably have a lot of good supportive family too because a lot of their family members were there mm-hmm. and they seem very like unified so hopefully that is something that helped them to you know be able to pull all that together but yeah. it was awesome um you know their food banging like caribbean food in general banging right. so we're not even going to have to question that but mm-hmm. vegetarian caribbean food the shit okay <laughs> so because we know how i've been eating lately right yeah. i don't really eat much meat i ain't gonna lie i'll dabble, dabble in some goat a little bit may have chicken here and there but that's really about it aside from my seafood which i even cut back on that which is crazy mm. so like the food bang bang it was awesome um day two was we were late i ain't gonna lie but oh. the first day we got there we were on time mm-hmm. But early as shit, gotcha. because Caribbean people be late as hell. Well, yeah, stuff. they always trick you. They always say like, "Get here at this time," but it's like yeah. an hour before anything actually starts. <laughs> and uh, no, yeah, actually, it was about an hour, around an hour and an hour and a half that yeah. we sat there. We're like, "Oh, something's now happening." Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So then we we're like, "Well, we don't need to be on time the next day." The next day we missed mad shit, and it was like, <laughs> "Well, like, that's so probably like the way for the ceremony, right?" Like they always tell you to like get there. At a certain mm-hmm. time, the ceremony always starts later, but True. I feel like the parties are always on time. So Yeah, it was just like, what the hell? So um, the next day was good, though. Couldn't find our table because we came late and the table numbers weren't easy to read. So we're just like, hey, can't find our table. Anyone sitting here? <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> and we ended up sitting on the bride side and we actually know them through the groom. And it was like, what the? <laughs> so it was like, hey, mixing and mingling. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But <laughs> again, banging us food um a really good time they were lit they were jamming um you know they just jamming and drinking and partying and having a good time and i'm like i'm exhausted like i'm just exhausted watching y'all but it was it was just so nice it was really nice um but aside from the wedding festivities i actually went to the batting cages for the first time ever in my life you did I've never been to the batting cages. You know, I'm athletic as shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't even know where there's batting cages where we grew up anyway. So I don't know. And everything but... <laughs> would be out of town. Girl, we from the sticks. Everything out of town. There's nothing around. Exactly. Like literally nothing so it's around. It's not like a thing that like you would go out and do. So I'm not surprised that you haven't done it. I, I've never done it. Well, why not? I mean, just even as you get older, you know, driving yourself around, you can still go out and do things. But I've just never. Yeah, but it's never I've like never the, the batting cages. batting cages. I don't know. You right. <laughs> I just don't see that as being like a thing. So I don't know why you're acting so surprised. It's because my friends, my friends are not athle- as athletic as me. So, you know. Whatever. Yes, I am. Or I used to be. <sighs> you used to be. Whatever. We all used to be. 
it's old age now whatever but yeah so first time for that which mm -hmm. was pretty cool um another super random first time which is not exciting but i went to Publix for the first time um that? a grocery store oh okay <laughs> But it's a big ass grocery store and it has good ass food. They're known for their subs. I guess they have really good subs, pub subs. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, for me, that was exciting because I've been to Florida so many times that I've not gone to Publix. And it was like, God damn. So then we're walking to Publix and I'm like, finally, I get to go. And he's like, what? And I'm like, I've never gotten to go into Publix yet. And he was like, You sound old. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Like, I never go to Florida or wherever and being like, I'm excited to go to a grocery store. <laughs> because I know they have good fresh food in there. Damn, girl. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> you might go listen, there for that. What the heck? Listen. I, well, I had to go there because of the stupid ass sinus well, infection I had. Yeah. So, you know, that's where the excitement came from. Okay. I find the joy in little things in life, people. I find the little things in life and I appreciate them. Okay. Whatever. I would okay. look at you like you were crazy, too. I'm like, Okay. That's fine. I'm used to it. You always look at me like that. Plenty of people look at me like that. We're used to it at this fine age in my life. So whatever. I don't care. <laughs> but to sum up my trip in a whole, um, it was a great time. Not as hot as I wanted to be. Of course, it oh, was really? nice and toasty back home uh, whenever yeah, I'm not in town. But it's Saturday whatever. Was beautiful. <laughs> whatever. That That's was why I'm going to be leaving here. And it's going to be warmer where I'm at more consistently than here. Damn it. <laughs> whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> leaving and y'all gonna have this little stupid shit rainy ass weekends warm weeks except for this past weekend where it was actually warm on one weekend day but whatever mm -hmm. so whatever it is what it is but no i had a great time thank you well good i'm glad that you enjoyed yourself <laughs> now there was a lot of like stress and stuff going up to it so i'm glad that even though you were like yes. busy and did a lot of different things and whatever like you still were able mm -hmm. to enjoy yourself it sound like aside from yeah this annoying little cold that, you know, we can all hear hasn't necessarily gone away yet. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I know. I know. That's, you know, very frustrating. But at least it wasn't something <laughs> to where, like, you just felt like absolute shit. And, like, because, you know, how, like, when you get a certain, like, way when you're sick, like, you just can't function. You can't at do least, nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least it wasn't that bad. So. Yeah, no. There's a little nope, bit of nope, nope. Yeah, it's anything. nice. And now my man is suffering. So. That sucks. <laughs> Yeah, but apparently I don't it's a think thing it before. Be a sinus infection, though, because I don't it might not. It might have just been a cold. Yeah, because I don't think that that can like pass. Yeah, like, I didn't think so either. And then, um, I guess the baby had like a little runny nose, but mm -hmm. that was about it. All her fault. While we were gone, so she was like, "You guys aren't bringing me with you, so now you have to be miserable." Ha ha. Oh my <laughs> gosh, yo! But I don't know, so. Everyone's doing all right, though. So we'll be all right. We'll be good. We'll be good. <laughs> well, that's good. But keep them over are, there. Are you... I don't want to be sick for my vacation. <laughs> no, you're fine. Are like, are you ready for vacation? <sighs> Not at all. Oh, my God. Not even that I haven't even packed one thing. I like I bought a few things. Well, not as many things as I like to. But I have to pack. I need to do my nails. I need to still go to the mall and get some like miniature things. And there's just like Damn. a list I haven't even created yet in my head. I just. Oh, sure. You're only leaving in two days. Yeah. That well, it was supposed to be you... one day, but that didn't work right. out. So, <laughs> well, that long list you sent me, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that on back to you to make sure you have everything. <laughs> well, I already have a list going, but I need like I feel like I need like travel size makeup because we don't do any check bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's just carry ons, and I don't remember if they oh. let you bring like full size like makeup and stuff like that. So I'm like freaking out, thinking mm. I have to go buy like all miniature everything. Um, I don't oh my remember. gosh it's been over a year since i've gone anywhere so that's true i don't remember. agree but I double check call the airline and double check or something i know search it online i need to before i just go buy like random shit but mm -hmm. yeah well this kind of coincides with vacation and it's something that i've seen online mm -hmm. and it's a i feel like it's something that's always debatable and i find it hard to I kind of find it hard to answer, but not really. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you feel about posting your significant other? And I find this to be relevant, right? Because we have vacations and, you yeah. know, everyone be booed up. What'd you call him? My my boo, my babe, something? I don't know. Uh, Everybody. Because I still don't even know why I did that. <laughs> I, I still can't let it go. Everyone's uh. booed up. You know, you want to be vacation fine and, you know, just showing off while you're on vacation and all that. Right. And 
um, myself, I'm someone who actually does not post my significant other. And you also don't really post, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> right. But even looking at the past, I never really posted my significant other. Yeah. And I just was kind of like curious on your thoughts on that gotcha. with people posting or not posting their significant others. Yeah. I mean, so I guess this is kind of like the first relationship <laughs> that like I've one that like I've really been in and then two that like I've been in since like social media has been a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I kind of go either way. Like I so I used to post all the time. Right. But I don't really as much anymore. Um, mm-hmm. But I I don't know. I'm kind of like not to like sit there and like post things all the time and like always, you know, have stories together and like whatever. But I think mm-hmm. for me, like an occasional post just to say like, hey, bitch, like, yes, we're still together. <laughs> I think is sufficient for me, <laughs> but not something to have done like all the time. Because I do truly think that social media can disintegrate relationships. Um, mm-hmm. And so it's not a good thing to always put somebody out there because, you know, in my opinion, that is when, you know, other people get to lurking and then they might get to DMing and like all this kind of random shit because mm. they are lethal. Um people but <laughs> i think a little here and there subliminal is okay and um you know like one post like on my entire timeline of like us you know i think mm-hmm. works so a little bit yeah. like in the middle right so like not too much but also like not not a lot more of just like a yep like we're still here or like if there's like a picture like you know <laughs> right <laughs> That is too funny. See, I I feel so back and forth on it because it's like, I am so like my social media. This is mine. There's nobody else that needs to be on here. And I don't mean it in like an (laughs) asshole way, but it's just like, I don't post about none of y'all for your birthdays. Like I don't post, like you don't ever see me do birthday shout outs. I don't like that was back in the day maybe, but nowadays I don't do birthday shout outs. If it if it's not about me, I usually don't really post it, like for the most part. <laughs> and it's like it used to be the dog really that I would post if I posted anything. Yeah. Um, like aside from myself. But when it comes to like posting my significant other, it's like I mean, I guess if y'all want to see him, sure. But it's like I don't know. Like I just sometimes I want to, but sometimes I don't. But I like don't want to lose my consistency on like not posting and then to start posting yeah. and then like you said bitches get nosy <laughs> and yeah. it's like which yeah you can post someone and not have to tag them absolutely but then we're women we know how to search through friends lists and find someone based off of this tiny ass icon <laughs> picture versus this big old post picture you know so it's yeah. like uh some things are just better left unknown like if you don't know us right then you don't need to worry about seeing us online. Yeah, no, that's true. Because let me tell you, any time that I have posted him on my story, I Mm -hmm. my account's like set up to where like I can actually see who, well, actually, I don't know if this is everybody, but you can see who like views your story and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And um, within that, whenever you tag someone, you can see like how, not who, but you can see how many people like tapped on a tag. Um, and oh, anytime gosh. I post him, I see at least like half the people that are looking at my story, <laughs> tapping on his, uh, on his like, oh, username or whatever. So I'm like all these little nosy people out here. Right. <laughs> see who oh my, man my gosh. Do you think it's like, um, like insecure or anything in any way to not post your significant other? No, I don't think it has anything to do with insecurities. I just think mm-hmm. it's something more about, you know, some people are just more protective maybe yeah. is, I don't even know if that's like the better word. Um, or just like cautious because like it does bring you know certain things into your relationship that you might not necessarily want or Mm -hmm. some people don't like to post because they out there doing other things and they don't want you know any kind of right things going on so no that's true I feel like it goes either way yeah no it does go either way I can definitely say for myself there's definitely no you know sense of insecurity around that yeah and it's just but it's like how we both have always operated like we both weren't really like ever posting anyone we we've even dated in our past on social media so it's just like like no I I like you way better than everybody I had in the past but (laughs) that still don't make you like King Tut and need to be posted every damn day like I don't even post the baby and she's cute (laughs) You know, I can't with you, but I always find it to be um, 
it's it's such a debate and I was really wondering how you felt about it because I do know that you post your man mm -hmm. um I know you don't post them all the time but it was just one of those where it's like I wonder how she feels about this because it really is something you can't fully read that you actually have to talk to people about yeah and I didn't think that you were going to be so in the middle no Which no way did you think I was gonna go <laughs> I just thought that you were going to be more of a like yeah like you should post them you know what I mean oh. like you know like if that's who you're with then yeah and you should definitely like okay. shed a little light on it not that you're going to be like you need to post them all the time but I just <laughs> didn't think you'd be so like no don't really need to post but here's a little sprinkle <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean and and you are right like it I think it is a conversation that you do need to have with your you know with your partner um mm -hmm. do you know how he feels about it like does it bother him you don't post him or is he no um it doesn't bother him he's he's actually funny because he's like I don't really want people being too nosy if they don't already know you right. type of ordeal so he's like because he had this picture like he wanted to post with me and the baby but you can't see the baby because she's facing me mm -hmm. but he's just like he only like you know like all of us we have so many friends on social media yeah. but we only actually talk to our real friends right, right. <laughs> you know by phone yeah and he's just like i don't really want these people coming out of the woodwork like oh you had a baby oh who's that you know yeah, and it's true. just like i get it because even to this day like i still see people who are like you had a baby it was like <laughs> I mean, she kind of looks like me, so I guess she's mine, huh? <laughs> you know? It's just like, yeah. But it's like, you don't want any of that extra fakeness or extra yeah. nosiness because it's just like, if you were really, like, in my, my circle life. or if yeah. you were really here with me or here with us, then you would have already known this information. And it's like, no one's trying to be secretive. Like, if you are around, mm -hmm. then you know. But yeah. Um, he's not, he's, he's never felt any type of way about me not posting him. Okay. Um, and he's just like, I think he's more on the protective side of, you know, not really posting me. And I think also to, to avoid the nosiness, mm -hmm. you know, cause it's usually us women who are the more nosier ones, but mm -hmm. at the same time, them guys, they be just as nosy too now. I ain't gonna act like it's just the women. Some of these dudes out here be just as nosy. Oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? You know, so. Yeah. yeah, no, we're on the same page about it, which is nice. Um, You know, that's one of the best things about our relationship is that for, I'm not gonna say necessarily that this is a big thing, but for a lot of big things in our lives, he and I fall on the same page mm -hmm. um, or we know how to respectfully meet in the middle when we disagree. So for us, that's like gotcha. huge, but you know, we've taken big strides from our past and make that effort to truly not let it be the same mm -hmm. and to just have that change, so. Social media ain't taking us down. I'll be damned. I'll cut a bitch. Yeah, it's. I feel like it's wild Kindly. when it actually does like t tear people down because it's yeah. like it's not a real thing to even have like affect your relationship. You know, like mm -mm, know. there's so many other things out there. Everyone's on it, and it's just so addictive. Yeah. So, and you just see so much on there like mm -hmm. real stuff fake stuff you don't know what's really what anymore and I don't know it's just the addiction I feel like has allowed some people to be so vindictive you know yeah and that's how those relationships get sabotaged aside from the people not being real with themselves or their partners that's you know if there's if there's a weak bend in that relationship social media is gonna chew the shit out of that and just tear it apart <laughs> yeah no it's true it really is you know and that's why we just mentioned right like you have to have these conversations with your partner because mm -hmm. you really need to understand how they feel about certain things because yeah if you're not talking and having that communication then like what are you really doing you know right what about you guys though with um like your level of posting for each other how do you guys feel about um well he's that? not crazy into social media at all like he doesn't post anything practically ever mm -hmm. um but he he's okay with like me doing it because like he knows that like occasionally like I'll do it or like sometimes like I'll ask because like I don't really like to post him and his daughter because mm -hmm. you know it's not right respect something respect. for me to you know 
Um, but, mm-hmm. like, there's been, like, a few times on, like, Father's Day or whatever, like, I might, like, do something like that just because, I don't know. I just, just expected. Like, it's important in my life, right? So, like, I just kind of want to, like, put that out there. Um, mm-hmm. But he doesn't mind that, like, I do, like, occasional, like, stories and stuff like that. And I think that I've only really posted him on my actual, like, feed, like, maybe, like, yeah. once or something. So, mm-hmm. He's okay with, like, the occasional stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure he's already expecting me to do something for his birthday, so... Well, obviously, birthday, vacation, like, something. <laughs> yeah, so, like, all that stuff is, like, a definite, right? Um, But, like, mm-hmm. he's, he's okay with it, but he's just not, like, crazy about, like, social media. Um, yeah. And, like, I'm not on his... Well, on his Instagram, I'm not on his, like, actual page. Um, mm-hmm. But, like, he's, you know, posted me, like, on my birthday and stuff like that. Um, right. But I've, you know... I don't know why I feel a type of way about this. <laughs> she said, well, you know, I'm like, oh, gosh, she's getting <laughs> flustered. What's she saying over there? <laughs> well, because I was a little excited when he made me his, like, cover photo. And um, he did it, like, Aww. twice. I think it was, like, two different pictures. And I don't know. I just, like, got excited because I'm like, okay, yeah, like, go ahead. Put me on there. Make sure. <laughs> yes. One of the first people you're going to see when you enter this page. <laughs> exactly. So make sure these people know the deal. All right. But right. um, but it's not something you know constant. But at least that one's like mm-hmm. always up there. So I'm like, okay, that's good enough okay. for me. <laughs> but it's nice because it's like, <clears throat> I feel like it's, I don't know how to word it, but it's just, you know, your man is even more into you, you know, when they want to broadcast you in some way, especially when they're not like into social media like that. I think right. If it was like a thing that they did all the time or whatever, I'd be like, okay, that's like not as special. Right. Or right. So, you know, I think that is um, just another, it's like another sign of affection. You know, it's yeah. just another way of showing it. I think that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's just laugh because you've gotten all flushed over there. You're like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, because, gosh, what I don't know what to say. <laughs> Listen, we've been through a lot and, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. It just, it meant something to me. I don't think he right. knows or understands or cares or whatever, but to mm-hmm. me, that you know that went a long way so the day he decides to change it i don't know how i'm gonna feel now but i'm gonna have to text him and tell him to listen to this episode (laughs) oh i'll beat you (laughs) you won't know i will know (laughs) and just speaking of men listening to episodes there is absolutely nothing more awkward than your man sitting right next to you on the airplane listening to your downloaded episode on his phone. <laughs> oh my god no he wasn't talking about he don't put the ketchup back where i like it oh no why can i actually see this like going down and he have his little spicy little attitude too about oh, it <laughs> my, no he he's actually fine when he listens to our episodes but it's just oh always god. so weird for me because it's like i'm just chilling you know it's like we're i don't i think we already had um taken off at that point mm-hmm. so we're just you know chilling in the air flying and Look i'm just over. like <laughs> I, no i'm oh. just like in my phone mind my own business and he takes his phone and shows me he's like like look oh my god and i'm looking i'm like do you have to listen to that right now? Like, I'm right here. It's so That's weird. Awful. And he literally will be listening and he'll pause that shit. He'll ask me a question like, oh, so this. Oh, oh no. so this, that, and the third. And I'm like, oh, no. No, no. And then he's like, pause it again. He's like, yeah, you really are a person about reflections. You do like to reflect. I don't know why Cassie doesn't like to reflect. You always <laughs> like to reflect. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh no <laughs> can we fast forward to the end <laughs> you don't got no music to listen to right <laughs> oh my god no so whenever yeah. like our so i i made him subscribe to like our page and of course mm-hmm. and so we watch youtube a lot on the tv so like our episodes will like come up there on the tv which is also different seeing your shit come on the tv yeah but um i'm like oh god like sometimes like him and his daughter will like just like stop and like start listening to it and i start freaking out i'm like can you guys not do that when i'm here and it's like loud as hell and i'm just like oh my god like please don't and i think it's like the funniest right. thing in the world so like whenever i oh, see it i click yeah. on it i hit the like button and then i back out of it really quick before like we right. even say Hurry anything <laughs> Like, yeah, like y'all ain't gonna see this. Nope. Mm-mm. No. Like they can't go ahead and find the page, but that's fine. I know. Like, can you not do it in front of me? Like, just listen to it in secret, and like, you know, if you just want to be like, hey, right. so I like listen to some, like, okay, cool, but like, don't right. don't let me know about it. Don't let me be in the moment happens. with you. Yeah. No. That's, yes. That's not yes. okay. Stop. 
doing that. <laughs> right. Like I if one of y'all or both of y'all are listening, do not listen while we are with you. This is for time to yourself with us away. Yeah. And you do it in your own time, exactly. not on our time. <laughs> See, but at least you know he he listens. I don't know if mine does or not. He might dabble like occasionally, mm-hmm. but I don't think he's like dedicated to listening to every full episode. Yeah, at least so he may not get the full picture. What I know, I don't know. <laughs> so at least you know, but I kind of like not knowing. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like like kind of like knowing is just like I go into like oh shit mode. And I'm like, damn, what episode is that? What did I just talk about? I'm like, did I talk shit? I don't know what I talk about. Oh my gosh, what? Oh oh. All right, enjoy. Let me go ahead and find something else to do in another room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're ever that bad. I don't think we talk no. about shit, but you know. No, girl we don't talk shit. And honestly, like, if I talk to you about it, I've already said something to him about it. So he's probably just annoyed with me at that point or he tired of hearing it. And then he's going to listen to the episode and hear it again. So <laughs> that's <on> kudos. <laughs> <laughs> kudos to you, boo. That's fine. Right, right. But yeah, so that should be interesting. But anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this on up. <laughs> and I just want to say I hope you have a lovely, lovely vacation. I know by the time this episode drops, you already will have been on vacation because we always record in advance. Yes. But I do hope you have a wonderful trip and you take some awesome pictures. And I would say bring back some heat, but I know like that's not realistic at this time of year. So definitely not. <laughs> we'll take what we can take. But I hope you have a blast. Thanks, girl. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes and for our listeners and viewers uh we appreciate you tuning in to another episode with the girls here on mindset talks podcast check out our social medias instagram facebook and youtube we're on the radios at 9 a.m wdjy 99.1 fm so uh we're we're kind of everywhere right now so i hope you're not sick of us yet because we're gonna keep it coming <laughs> we sure are we'll see <laughs> we'll talk to y'all later guys bye guys